The wedding reception boasts a who's who of international guests, including Alex Claremont Diaz, the charismatic son of the American president. Mr. Claremont Diaz is often referred to as the American Prince Henry. It's the whole Prince Henry comparison thing. He spent his entire life attending fancy events like this. He was trained for this. I feel like if I use the wrong fork at dinner, they're just gonna eat me alive. Just remember you're handsome and charming and everyone loves you. But he's the worst kind of rich white boy. So smug and entitled. How's it going? Oh, you gotta wonder how many families he could feed with what this cake costs. You know what? I am so sorry. I am so sorry. You've done some pretty stupid things in your day, but this... Takes the cake? Oh, you hear that, Zara? He's opening with a joke. Maybe he can host the Correspondents' Dinner next year. Oh. I'd be down. No. Certainly casts a pool over our negotiations. I'm on the ballot again in 14 months, and I need the farming exports and manufacturing jobs that this deal provides to take to Midwest voters. I'd argue that you don't actually need the Midwest, and there's a path to re-election without that you don't want to hear from me today. I'm really sorry, Mom. I know you are, baby. That's why I need you to fix it. You're flying back to London tonight. What? Why? To undo all the damage you've done? The White House and the palace are going to release a joint statement explaining that what happened at the wedding was a complete misunderstanding. Yeah, which it was. And despite rarely having time to see one another, you and Prince Henry are in fact close personal friends and have been for the last several years. You can hate Prince Henry all you want, but the minute you see a camera, you better act like the sun shines out of his ass and you have a vitamin D deficiency. My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. Still wearing lifts. You know that too, sweetheart. Are we finished here? Yes, you're all right. Now, you've been mates since you met at the Melbourne Climate Conference several years back. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Uh, we hit it off instantly. One thing I most admire about Alex is his willingness to admit when he's wrong. So why did you dislike me? Climate Conference in Melbourne, first night party. I went to introduce myself to you and you looked at me like I had head lice. Then you turned to your equerry and said, get me out of here. Are you, are you seriously telling me that one meeting years ago in which, yes, I admittedly acted ungenerously towards you has occupied such a vast mental and emotional space okay. in your head? Sure, when you put it like that. But it was my first foray into the world as a public figure and I was really scared and you could have helped me and you didn't. You're right. I'm sorry. I was a prick to you. I... My father had died a few months before, and the palace insisted on parading me around. Well, the first son's charm offensive this week has helped his mother's campaign. What's your beef with him, anyway? I mean, he seems like a nice new guy. Oh, come on, Dad. He's elite and privileged and lives in a palace. <laughs> What's that? I'm just brushing that working class chip off your shoulder. You're now elite and privileged and live in a palace. It's funny how life works. Nice damage control this weekend. I had no idea you and the prince were such good friends. Yeah, well, neither did I. You have to, like, use it. Not a chance, Miguel. Such a tease. Ask well, ask that only. Yeah, you're always running at full speed. <laughs> I just received a parcel of your mum's old campaign t-shirts. Is this your idea of a prank? <laughs> Have I surprised you in any way? Nope. You are just as ghastly as I imagined. <laughs> Good night. Has anyone in the campaign actually read my Texas strategy memo? What Texas strategy memo? I wrote a 14-page memo detailing how we can win in Texas next year. I spent weeks working on it. I think it's a viable plan that you should take seriously. I really want to help. You do help. You are genuinely useful. Yeah, for like photo ops and New Year's parties and stupid shit like that. And I could be doing so much more. Fine. Thank you. You want to help your mother's campaign? Make sure Prince Henry comes to your party. People like him more than they like you. Well, they wouldn't if they knew him. 
you ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? I'm a foolish, fragile spy. I was an anonymous, working class kid for most of my life. I want all and then my mom became president. People I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Christ, you're as thick as it gets. Funny thing happened on New Year's Eve. Henry kind of kissed me. And uh, he kissed you, and you liked it. I'm sorry. What do you think that means? I can wrap my head around being low-level into guys, but what I'm really confused about is being into Henry. How many guys have you been with? Once in high school, and once with Miguel Ramos. I get the feeling he wants me back in that hot tub, but you know, he's a journalist. Right. Yeah, closeted princes are much safer. I read your Texas campaign memo. How? Oh, that was super confidential. I'm a journalist, Alex. I quite literally have my sources. Is this the year the Democrats finally flip Texas? Yeah, we're, uh, gonna flip Texas. Good to see you, Miguel. Hopefully we'll get through tonight without any more scandals from these two. The night is young, Ma. What's that? The key to my family's house in Austin. I started wearing it when we moved here. I guess you could say I'm bisexual. Noted. We just have to keep it very casual, of course. Oh, obviously, the press and all. I was unaware my campaign had a new Texas strategy. Can you please tell me what it is? Henry Fox has to belong to himself, or else I'll vanish. Why aren't you firing up the youth vote, building a grassroots movement? Why aren't you fighting for your home state, Ma? Can he ever belong to someone else? I am fighting for my administration. I think we should make love tonight. Only momentarily. I've never... That is some bullshit. Trust me, you're in good hands. You're being idealistic when I need you to be realistic. Is that why you got into politics? To be realistic? It's my life. Doesn't mean you have to accept it. You have a lot to learn about politics, kiddo. Can't be about all your was about you. Is there any part of you that doubt to know that what you do has a meaningful impact on people's lives i know it's my life's work you may not understand this but in america if you're an immigrant with a z in your last name there's not a lot of people in positions of power that look like you or sound like you i've been given a chance to be someone in the world that my father didn't see when he was growing up What's the deal with this campaign memo? You can't know what that means. I read your memo. Good work. I'm learning. We're sending you to Texas. You'll work 18 hour days, and you'll love every minute of it. Here, Henry. I'll admit this to you and no one else. For all my big talk and certainty, I'm secretly afraid I'm going to let my mother down. I understand what you're saying, and I believe what you're describing is called imposter syndrome. But I know that you are not an imposter. Just hit a million voters! I'm reminded of one of my favorite quotes from Sense and Sensibility. It isn't what we say or think that defines us, but what we do. And I think that what you're doing is amazing. She has passed down to me a faith in America that always looks to the future, not back to the past. The only thing I'm confirming tonight is that you're an asshole. Feel free to use that quote. Buenas noches, cabrón. Hmm. Do you vote? Mm -mm. Not allowed. What? Yeah. That's insane. Times the rules. Alex Claremont Diaz, it's almost seven. You have interviews to do. Let's get going. Wake up. Good morning. Oh. Please don't tell my mom. Seriously? I haven't told her yet. Oh, gee, kid. I'm sorry to interrupt your process of becoming, but you're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. Would it make any difference? If I told you not to see him again? No. Every time I see you, it takes another year off of my life. I've met someone. Huh. Is that all? Henry. 
As in the Prince of England. So are you, are you gay, bi, fluid, pan, quick? <laughs> what mom and bi? You need to figure out if you feel forever about him before you take this any further. A relationship like this will define your life. I don't know if we're there yet, Mom. I don't know if we'll ever will be. This is uncharted territory for us. When you're a parent, every day is uncharted territory. And when your child is Alex Claremont Diaz, you get used to the exceptional. Dear Henry, well, I just came out to my mom. I was never afraid of her rejection. I was afraid that she would see me differently than before. But now I realize that's exactly the point. I love you. I wasn't sure if you needed to have like a Catholic moment about it. Please, have a little more faith in your old man. I love you too. Your mom and I were a stupid idea too. Sometimes you just gotta jump. Hope you're not standing on the cliff. I've been thinking about how my life is gonna be a lot different after the election. My mom will hopefully be in office again, and we won't have to worry about winning any more national elections, and I'll have a lot more freedom. Until it's my turn to run for office, of course. Of course. We can walk through Austin holding hands, and it won't even matter if anyone sees us. I never felt this way about anyone. It's like there's a rope attached to my chest, and it keeps pulling me towards you. What I mean to say is, Henry, you won't answer any of my texts or take any of my calls. Well, you have air miles. Go to London. Get your man. What if you won't see me? At least you'll have your answer. Do you love him? What difference would it make if I did? Uh, Mr. Claremont Diaz is at the gate. He insists on seeing you. Can we please talk? What's going on, Henry? A week ago, we were happy, and then you disappear without saying a word? I think you at least owe me an explanation. I have done nothing but explain myself to you this past year. All I know is I'm the one here willing to fight for us. Because it costs you nothing! I stormed a fucking castle to look you in the eye and tell you that I love you knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, Henry. In fact, this is costing me everything. And if this is over, I at least deserve to know why. Oh, for Christ's sake, Alex, I'm not like you. I can't afford to be reckless. I wasn't raised by a loving, supportive family like you were. My life is the crown and yours is politics, and I will not trade one prison for another. I can love you and want you, and we can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms, no one else's. And still not want that life. I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness that I have found with you. And if you think otherwise, and you don't know me, So tell me to go, Henry. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. Please be patient with me. And I promise I will try and be brave for us. Because when they write the history of my life, I want it to include you. History, huh? Yeah, we can make some. I want you to have some part of me until you can have all of me again. I love you. Go in that election. Your emails to Alex have been hacked. They were posted overnight to Reddit. Mayor and the Sun ran them this morning. The Waterloo Letters details the romance of Prince Henry and Alex Claremont Diaz, the son of American President Ellen Claremont. Uh, um, c can we at least get a message to him? Um, uh, t to the White House? I've tried my contacts within the White House with no luck. They may be speaking to Downing Street, but they're not speaking to us.
Why is this anyone's business? After all, Alex Claremont Diaz is a private citizen. He isn't at all a private citizen. He's playing an active role in his mother's campaign. Are you really that quick? Or did you perhaps have advanced knowledge that this leak was going to happen? As many of you have already read, we've struggled every day with what this means for our families, our countries, and our futures. And while neither of us is naive about what it means to be public figures, we never imagined our most private and intimate thoughts, fears, and truths would become fodder for public examination. The truth is, every queer person has the right to come out on their own terms and on their own timeline. But there is another truth that's much simpler. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. He has captured my heart and made my life immeasurably better. I love His Royal Highness, Prince Henry George, Edward James, Hanover Stuart Fox. I hope one day we'll have the opportunity to be public about our relationship on our own terms. Is it still possible I've crossed my mom the election? Yes. But it's also possible that you just won her the election. I hope Henry was watching. You can see oh, God, I miss him. Oh, my God. Hello? You Baby. Alex. Just hold on until I get there. We'll figure this out. Hurry. I'll break the sound barrier for you. Your speech was beautiful. Alex and I love each other deeply and we are committed to each other deeply. Grandpa, tell them that they can't go out there. Henry, I love you. I love you more. I think that's up for debate. The entire race now hangs on Texas. It's all going to come down to Texas. Remember that it was her son, Alex Claremont Diaz, who was a driving force in turning her campaign's focus to Texas. You fought hard, and it isn't over yet. We won. We won.